Hi, welcome to Sir Bash Math Rules again, guys. Today I'm going to teach you or I'm going to show you how to evaluate integrals. Integrals are actually in this form here. This is kind of long S, and then you have this one dx here. Before that, let's talk about some properties of integrals. We have these following properties, guys, which we call the power rule. The power rule actually shows like this. If you have an integral of x to the power of n dx, this is very simple. To evaluate this, you just copy x and then you do n plus 1 over n plus 1. And there's always plus c. That's arbitrary constant. This only happens when n is not equal to negative 1. This means to say, guys, that you can apply this property here that you are seeing on your screen if and only if your n is not equal to negative 1. So you can think of this an unsang exponent. Negative 2, negative 3, 1 million, 3 million, negative 2 million. No matter what is your exponent, as long as it's not negative 1, you are good to go to follow this uh, property here. Second, guys, is if we're going to see a constant a inside the uh, integral symbol x to the power of n dx, what we're going to do here is uh, take out the constant, write it outside the integral, and then evaluate the integral. So we have a times the integral of x to the power of n dx. And this one, we can actually apply that concept there. Okay? And another thing that we can apply, another thing that we can apply on this uh, example that you see on your screen on the left side, guys, is the integral of a function which is more than 2. So plus minus f of x second function plus minus third function, then plus minus dot 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 until the last function um, dx. Ang mahitabo ani guys is very simple. Imorang in, imorang ko ng integral sa each function. So, integrate the first function, dx, plus minus the integral of the second function, dx, plus minus the integral of the third function, dx, and then um, follow the the pattern plus minus dot 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 plus minus or plus minus here sorry the integral of the last function f of x dx okay and then once you are done with it you can just simplify everything so let's start with this example here uh, first i'm gonna i can see here guys nga na ako simplify nga term so mo na hang rule nga follow first if na may makita nga ma simplify simplify it first okay i notice that 15 over 3 here can be simplified and what is 15 over 3? We know that this is equal to 5. So in other words, we can rewrite the actual uh, given, which is 4x cubed minus 3. Oh, sorry, not 3, but 5. 5x five to the power of 2 thirds minus 3x to the power of negative 4 dx. And then this time, ako apply ang kaninga third property wherein atong tasatagsaon o integral. So, let me change color para may haniyang solution. So, here, uh, we have integral of 4x cubed dx minus integral of 5x to the power of 2 thirds minus 3x to the power, oh, sorry, there should be an integral symbol here, dx minus the integral of 3x to the power of negative 4 dx. So this is one of guys. So this is what I'm talking about earlier. So um I can see here nga each uh, integral guys na I constants and these constants are four, five, and three. So ato na silang ipagawas following this property here. So we have four integral of x cubed dx, tama? Minus 5 integral of x to the power of 2 thirds dx. And lastly, we have 3x to the power of negative 4 dx. And then, since we notice that the exponents of x of each integral is not equal to negative 1, it follows that so we can apply this property here. So, unsa on a minute? May tabu ani guys is 4 times x to the power of 3 plus 1 over. 3 plus 1, 
minus 5 times x to the power of 2 thirds plus 1 over 2 thirds plus 1 minus 3 x to the power of negative 4 plus 1 over negative 4 plus 1 and always do not forget to add c okay so uh, let's continue we have 4x to the power of 4 over 4 minus 5 now what is 2 thirds plus 1 you can uh, you can evaluate or you can add it using your um, manual adding of two numbers and that's equal to 5 thirds 5 thirds also the denominator is 5 thirds 5 thirds minus 3 times x to the power of negative 3 over negative 3 plus c um, let's simplify each term so we can cancel out 4 here we have x to the power of 4 and then how to simplify guys if naamoy denominator in a fraction so first ato siyang buhatan yun ani let's deal with the constant lang sa so 5 over 5 thirds and ana siya no so what you would need to do is to copy the the, the numerator in a 5 and then multiply it by the um, reciprocal of your denominator what is the reciprocal of 5 thirds which is actually 3 over 5 and combining these two, you can cancel out 5. What is left is 3 na lang. So, 3x to the power of 5 thirds. Okay? And then negative, negative times negative, that's going to be positive. And canceled out 3, your answer is x to the power of negative 3 plus c. This is your answer for the example that I just wrote earlier. Morning answer, kani. Sadering item. Diba easy ra? Okay. So let's have another example. Let's take this example, guys. Ngayon, ani ang form. Integral of 25x to the power of 4 minus 3 over x squared plus 6 over x squared dx. Okay? So again, atong buhaton first is uh, to see if we can simplify something in which Sa kaninga part, wala tayo simplify. So, we are going to go directly and apply the properties that I have just discussed earlier. So, ito sa taksaan na to. So, here, this becomes integral of 25x to the power of 4dx minus integral of 3 over x squared dx. Tama? Excuse me. Plus integral of 6 over x squared dx. And then, ipagawas na to ang mga constants. So, what we have here, guys, is 25 x to the power of 4 dx. We also have 3, 1 over x squared dx. And then, 6, 1 over, ah, yeah, 1 over x squared dx. Okay. So, unsa na may sunod ani? Ipang integrate na to ang each um, part. But before that, please remember guys, ngang kanang 1 over x squared, according to your loss of exponents, this is actually equal to x to the power of negative 2. So, let me um, simplify this or let me evaluate the integral of x to the power of 4, which is x 4 plus 1 over 4 plus 1. Minus 3, so I'm, I'm going to re rewrite it, x to the power of negative 2 dx plus 6x to the power of negative 2 dx. Tama? And then, um, since our exponent here for both x is negative 2, meaning to say it's not negative 1, we can apply this. We, can, we would be able to apply the power rule. So, let's do this. This is gonna be tw uh, sorry. This is gonna be twenty-five x to the power of five over five minus three times x negative two plus one over negative two plus one plus six x negative two plus one over negative two plus one and then do not forget to always add c. Let's simplify each term. This becomes five x here, guys. Tama. 
minus 3x um, over, what is negative 2? Oh, okay. I'm just gonna do like this. Kopyahan sa nako ang negative 3, and then x to the power of negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 over negative 1, um, plus 6 times x negative 1 over negative 1 plus c. Okay? And I think we're almost done here. We have 5x to the power of 5. Uh, negative, negative 3 times negative here, that's going to be positive. So that's going to be positive 3x to the power of 1. And then positive here and then times negative here, that's going to be negative 6x to the power of 1 plus c. Now, some teachers would actually not allow you to write a negative exponent. So... Maybe you can write in this way, 5x to the power of 5 plus 3 over x minus 6 over x plus c. Either of these two guys are actually is actually correct. So it's up to you. All right, so I'm going to discuss another example, but let's just take a moment to pause. <laughs> let's take another example to evaluate integral, guys. So let's have this example here. We have 4 times 7x to the power of 5, x to the power of 2 fifths, um, minus 15, over 5x to the power of 5, dx. So again, we notice that we can combine two things here. Uh, the x to the power of 5 and the x to the power of 2 fifths. We can combine them by copying the exponent, rather not the exponent, but the base, which is x, and then add the two exponents, which is 5 and 2 fifths. So what is 5 plus 2 fifths, guys? The answer is 27 over 5. So x, 27 over 5. Okay? So this is going to be 4. 7x 27 over 5 minus 15 over 5x to the power of 5 dx. Okay? And then I'm going to distribute 4 to the terms inside the parentheses. So what will happen here is the integral of 28x to the power of 27 over 5. And what is 4 times negative 15? That's going to be 60 negative 60 over 5x to the power of 5 dx. Okay, now we cannot apply the third property that I explained earlier, this one here, right away because if you notice, um, we only have one denominator here. So what we need to do, guys, is we're going to express this uh, in terms of two fractions having the same denominator. So what will happen here, it would be like this. Integral of 28x27 over 5 over 5x to the power of 5 minus 60 over 5x to the power of 5 dx. So we have separated the terms now. We can apply the third property that I just explained earlier. But before that, there are things that we can simplify. I don't think that 28 can be divided by 5. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, it's not. However, the x 27 over 5 and x over 5, these two terms here, this one here, we can apply, we can combine them. How? Uh, according to your laws of exponents, guys, if x is to the power of m and another x to the power of n here, if we're going to get the quotient, you just copy the x, which is the base, and you do m minus n. You subtract the two exponents. So do this. 27 over 5 minus 5, the answer is 2 fifth. In other words, we can express this term here into x to the power of 2 fifth. And we also know that 60 over 5 is going to be what? Is it divisible by 5? I think so, it is. The answer is 12. So we have the integral of, well, not function, but integral of 28 over 5 x 2 fifth minus 12 over x to the power of 5 dx. Okay? 
Now, this time, ato na siya, sa tagsaon. This can be written as, let me see if you can still see the screen. There. Uh, there. I think that's better. So, let me erase these things here. What is next, guys, is going to be make it one by one. Or not one, but separate uh, integral. So, what we have here is the integral of 28 over 5 x to the power of 2 fifth minus, or sorry, dx minus the integral of 12 over x to the power of 5 dx. Okay? So let's take out the constants. 28 over 5 integral of x to the power of 2 fifth dx minus um, 12 1 over x to the power of I'm sorry, 1 over x to the power of 5 dx. Okay, so um, what's next? Twenty-eight over five times x to the power of two fifth plus one over two fifth plus one, right? Minus twelve. This becomes integral of x to the power of negative five dx. Because again, as I've mentioned earlier, um, according to your loss of exponent, if you have like this, x to the power of, uh, 1 over x to the power of n is equal to x to the power of negative n. So 28 over 5. What is 25? Uh, what is 2 fifth plus 1? Seven over five. So x seven over five over seven over five. Minus 12 x negative 5 plus 1 over negative 5 plus 1. Don't forget to add plus c. Um, if you're going to ask me, kanus ata mag add of plus c? This is when you're going to try to remove the integral symbol na kanisila. If you're trying to remove this one na, that's when you do plus c. So, let's do this. Um, 28 over 5. May tabo ni guys. 28 over 5 over... 7 over 5. Kani siya here. Kani nga portion here. Copy the numerator, which is 28 over 5, times a reciprocal of 7 over 5, which is 5 over 7. Cancel 5. And what is 28 over 7? That's actually 4. So, mahimu ni siyang 4x to the power of 7 over 5. Okay? Negative 12x to the power of negative 6 over negative 6. Oh, no. Not negative 6, but it's negative 4. Over negative 4 plus C. And then we have 4x to the power of 7 over 5. Negative times negative, that's going to be positive. Plus 12 over 4, that's going to be 3x to the power of negative 4 plus C. And then you're done with your answer. All right. I hope uh, this. Uh, these examples help you out, guys. We are going to talk about another example later on. All right, so let's have another example in evaluating integral, guys, as I promised earlier. So let's have this example here, integral of 36x to the power of 9 plus 28x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 4 thirds minus 9 over... 3x to the power of 4 dx. So if you notice, guys, there is or there are terms that we can combine. These are x to the power of 4 and x to the power of 4 over 3. Loss of exponent can still be applied here. So we just copy the base, which is x, and then add the two exponents. That's going to be 4 plus 4 thirds. So ask yourself, pila man na ang 4 plus 4 over 3? The answer is 16 over 3. So basically, uh, this is x to the power of 16 over 3. All right, so let's do this. 36x to the power of 9 plus 28x to the power of 16 over 3 minus 9 over 3x to the power of 4 dx. So if you notice, um, the trinomial terms are in the numerator have the same denominator here. So 
we can express uh, this, uh, this fraction inside the radical symbol, guys, as three different fractions having the same denominator. So, ani karon, guys, is going to be like this. 36x to the power of 9 over 3x to the power of 4. Plus 28x to the power of 16 over 3 over 3x to the power of 4. And lastly, 9 over 3x to the power of 4 dx. And there are terms that we can simplify. 36 over 3, I think that's actually 12, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it's 12. So, um... Again, since you have uh, these two things here, x to the power of 9 and x to the power of 4, you just have to subtract them. So this becomes um, 12x to the power of 5 because 9 minus 4 is 5. And I don't think 28 is divisible by 3, so just copy it. 28 over 3 times what is going to be the answer if we're going to subtract 4 from 16 over 3. It's 4 over 3. There you go. Minus, um, I know that 9 is divisible by 3, so that's going to be uh, 3 over x to the power of 4 dx. So, karon nya time, guys. Ato na siyang tasatag saon. So, we have integral of 12x to the power of 5 dx plus integral of 28 over 3x to the power of 4 thirds dx okay and integral of 3 over x to the power of 4 dx okay apply the dynamics to ang mga properties of integral so uh, take out the constant of 12 x to the power of 5 dx take out the constant that is 28 over 3 x to the power of 4 3 dx take out the constant 3 this becomes 1 over x to the power 4 dx um, then, uh, since this exponent here, 5 and 4, 3, and this one here, guys, can be, can be written as x to the power of negative 4. Again, this is uh, in connection to the loss of exponent. If you have uh, a term like this, x to the power of n, this is equal to x to the power of negative n. Okay? So, if you notice, the exponents that we have for uh, the three integrals are not equal to negative 1. It follows that we would be able to apply the power rule here that is here. Okay? So, let's continue. This is going to be what? 12 times x to the power of 5 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 plus 28 over 3 times x4, uh, 4 over 3 plus 1 over 4 over 3 plus 1. Minus 3, ako na lang siyang imagino niya nga x to the power of negative 4. So that's going to be x negative 4 over negative 4 plus 1. Sorry, nene plus 1 here. Plus 1 plus c. Okay, so let's simplify things out here. We have 12x to the power of 6 over 6 plus 28 over 3. What is 4 thirds plus 1? That's 7 over 3. That is 7 over 3. x7 over 3 over 7 over 3. Minus uh, x to the power of negative 3 over negative 3 plus c. Okay. Next, guys. Ang kaning 28 over 3, o kaning 7 over 3, ang form anan niya, guys, is like this. 28 over 3 over 7 over 3. You just have to copy the entire numerator ng 28 over 3 times the reciprocal of 7 over 3, which is 3 over 7. Cancel out 3, and 28 over 7 is, I think, that's 4, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it is 4. And you know that 12 over 6 is just 6, so we just have to write 6x to the power of 6. And then simplify any 4x to the power of 7 over 3. And then negative times negative, that's positive. So that's going to be positive x negative 3 over 3. And then you're done with your answer. There. I hope these examples, guys, help you out on how to evaluate integral. Um, again, uh, do not forget to 
follow my Facebook page, Sir Bash Math Rules, and also do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel, which is Sir Bash uh, Math Rules. The description or the links are uh, in the description. See you next time and stay safe always.